Hey guys, it's 4.06 p.m. on uh, May 24th, 2019. It's Friday. This morning, we actually released a uh, video to our 13 Market Moves daily subscribers with the analysis of the markets. There was a couple of trades that were described there. So oftentimes I get questions, okay, well, how do you actually take action on the trades that you describe in your 13 Market Moves daily analysis? So in this video, we're going to show you specifically how you could have taken $4,000 into $63,000 in nine days hours from 9 30 in the morning till 4 p.m trading the ideas that were presented in the 13 market moves daily analysis so without any further ado here it is guys all the details of taking 4k to 63k live today on may 24th based on the ideas and by the way for those of you that really want to check out exactly what was said in the 13 market moves daily analysis after i show you every detail of every trade that was taken today the good, the bad, the ugly, the profits, the losses, and all that crazy stuff, you're going to get to see it all. And after that, I will disclose to you specifically the video that was released to the 13 Market Moves Daily subscribers so you can know exactly the calculations, the charts, and so on. So without any further ado, guys, here it is. Enjoy. Hey, guys, it's May 24th, 2019. In this video, we're going to show you how to turn $4,500 into 15 k Okay, we're going to short this bounce in ADSK, 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 ADSK. Come on, let's go. Uh, now, these options, they do expire today. Uh, we're looking at buying these uh, 160 level puts. Uh, we're going to buy 45 of them at 0.9. Let's see if we can get that filled right here. Basically, expecting a reversal. So we bought 12 so far, 3, 1. 16, 19, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's get the rest here. So far, about, okay, 45. So we own 45 of these ADSK uh, puts. Five more ADSK. Let's try to buy them at like 88 cents. We'll just put the order in there. Okay, bought five more. Okay, so we own 50 ADSK puts. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to set a sell order to close them at... 1.85 basically quick double quick quick double okay so here's the reversal adsk we're just getting into the stock when it was trading at 164 as you can see the trade now is making 3180 bucks uh current trade price is at 153. Uh, if it falls another dollar uh well maybe not even a dollar i mean if it falls another 80 cents we should be able to get a fill right here Done. We sold 50 ADSK and locked in a $4,700 profit. So now the account, uh, as you can see, we started with $4,500. Now we got options buying power, $9,200. Basically, quick double. And um, here we're about to take the next trade. Okay, guys, here's the next trade. Uh, we're going to actually short Splunk. SPLK is the ticker. Uh, we're going to go ahead and buy uh, these, uh, buying these 124 puts. Go ahead and buy like a hundred of them at 0.9. Sell them to me. Come on. Yes. But 100 SPLK puts. The stock currently trades at 126.74. The trade is going against me quick. I'm losing $1,100. I've uh, got. 771 here so let's go ahead and add to this let's go ahead and add to this position okay so we're gonna buy SPLK another eight eight of these at point nine cyclic style shares now get that done dollar yes. over a dollar up 60 percent now they don't want to sell them to me all right, let's pay 95 cents for them. Okay, they sum to us. Okay, so currently we own 108 contracts of Splunk that expired today. We need the stock to drop at least two or three bucks to have any profits here. Well, any decent profits. So we'll do, um, we'll calculate the drop early in our 13 markets move daily video. We actually showed both trades, the ADSX trade I just showed you guys, and uh, this one right here, 
On Splunk, we've calculated the first level could be 123, second level 120. So uh, I'm going to get just a tiny bit uh, aggressive on this one. I'm going to sell some at 2.45, uh, 58 of this. And then um, the other ones, so as you can see, we're losing 1100 now. We're making 600 bucks. The next trade we're going to take uh, is we're going to sell 50 of these at 3.5. Yeah, nice and easy. Three point, you know what? 3.8, bro. Let's roll. That's how we do it at 30 markets move daily. Trade fiercely, guys. Here's the limit order. Let's collect the profits in a little bit. We'll do a follow-up on this trade. Let's go, go, go. Yeah, guys, 9.42 a.m. Uh, this trade is actually um, going a bit quicker than I thought. So we're actually going to reset, reset. Hey, hold on. We're making 11 grand in five minutes. Hold on. We got to... We got to slow down here a little bit. Give me a chance to replace this order right here. Instead of 2.5, we're going to go 2.9. Let's go. Man, that thing almost sold a second ago. Now, we saw some volume come in on the sell side. So the account now is 41K. I mean, basically, we've taken 4,500. Uh, made like 4K on the first trade, 11K on this one. So actually, we've taken 4K to 20K, 16K. So let's see where we are. We've got to close this trade out, guys. Ideally, would love to see Splunk drop down to 120. Get both of our orders executed. It's not cooperating fully yet. But charts don't lie. We do our homework. And we come to the market with a plan. LCI will have to lose now five Thank you guys. Company announced earlier. Don't have a plan. Actually, retiring. I mean, it's not like I know most of the guys are actually trying to make a plan. But, you know, if you're a busy professional, like if you are a doctor, and a lot of our subscribers are doctors, you're a busy professional running a few businesses, hey, you may not have time to sit down every day, study the market, see what's going on here, there. Oh, boom, we're in the 122 handle. So all you have to do really was tune in to the 13 Market Moves Daily video earlier this morning. And uh, you could have taken two trades. They were explained to you when to come in, when to short them, where to get in. Actually... Uh, for those of you that are trying to learn, um, when I'm getting out of this trade um, here, hopefully shortly, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let you watch this 13 Market Moves daily video subscription and no charge. If you stay through the end of this video, for the end of this live trade, you guys can check it out, see what we've talked about today. CIFS, China, Western. And um, as you can see, I mean, we started with 25K. It's 9.45 a.m. We took this account to 46K, but we were only utilizing 4,500 out of the account, guys. So there it is. We're hitting uh, these levels. So these options we're buying for 90 cents, as you recall. Here's the actual hour. Apple, trade price is 84 on average. The these options are now 1. at 2.15, 2.4 level. Slight bounce. But as long as this sell volume keeps coming in, we're going to stay in the trade. We'll review this trade in a little bit, guys. Uh, in order for our orders to get executed, ideally we need this trade to go to 121, 120 level. And at that point, we'd be out of the trade uh, with some decent gains. Oh man, guys, I just, shit, we just sold 58 of this and I couldn't, man, I uh, couldn't get my screen to capture it. So here, I'll take you right here, guys. So here's the Splunk trade. Uh, you remember just a second ago, sure, we had 108 of them. Well, we only got 50 left. So that first order that was executed, um, where I reset, I initially set it that to sell at 2.45, then I raised it to 2.9. It just got taken out. That's a 300% gain, guys, in like 11 minutes. Um, so we only got 50 contracts remaining. The sell order on this is set at 3.8. So we still got ways and ways to go there. As you can see. Just a second ago, I was saying, look, if it gets to the, you know, 121 area, we should see some execution. I just missed it to show you guys. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, so, so far, uh, you know, we are actually making uh, some money on this trade, guys. Uh, $22,000 on this trade right here. Um, and um, it keeps falling. Keeps falling. Keeps falling. But now we got actually um, bomb power for 16800 So while this thing is falling... 
We're going to go ahead and guess what we guys going to do? Oh boy, AD Sax, we're going to get into it one more time, man. Let's make this shit fun right here, guys. Okay, um, so AD Sax now showing some clear signs of further turnaround. We're going to buy these 157s, bro. We're going to get 100 of them. Let's go. Come on. Oh, can't be that easy. I bought them at the ask. The trade is losing 800 bucks. No, man. Okay, let's try to buy them at a dollar. Let's try to buy another 50. I'm going to hold this position. Dollar. Let's buy them at a dollar. At a dollar. Let's go. Come on. Okay, we bought 50 more. So we own 150 contracts of ADSX. It's currently trading at 160.73. We're actually, the trade is completely going against us. We're losing $3,900. That's not fun. But let's see what's happening with Splunk. So it's hitting uh, 120.8. So we're getting close to closing this trade out right here, guys. So pay very close attention. It could come in. Let's go review this. Uh, SPLK trade. SPLK. 3.7, 3.7, 3.4. Let's go ahead and sell it. Sell, 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 sell. Let's get out. Let's sell it. 3.5. Let's just change it and get out of it. Come on. One, two, three, four, let's go, let's go. Let's sell it. Oh boy, sold it at 3.67, done, and you just saw me turn this trade. We're about 108 contracts on SPLK. The profit for the day on this trade is 25.9. Okay, let's go back. Now we got 19K here, let's go back. Let's go back, ADSX is dropping, we got 150 contracts. If it drops another couple of dollars, we gonna roll, we are gonna lock some healthy gains here, guys. And guess what, the market is turning around. Guess what, we're gonna short. Hell yeah, remember that AVGO trade I was taking the other day? Well, guess where the stock is, is. it's popping, but it's against that level. We wanna buy some AVGO puts. But first, before we get into the trade, guys, wanna check it out. This is what we wanna look at. We want to just briefly take a look to see what on earth is Apple doing before we get into this one. It's a correlation type trade, guys. If you study these correlation type trades, guys, your job as a trader is going to be so much easier. And here's Apple dropping. We're not going to short Apple. We're going to short AVGO. AVGO, 265 puts the last day of the expiration. 265. What are you going to Okay, let's buy 262. 262 at a dollar. Let's go ahead and buy a hundred of these AVGO puts. Let's go, go, go. Come on, 0.9. Let's get them. Let's buy them. Will they sell them to us is the question. So the buy order is in, but uh, CNBC, nothing is going on. Come on, report. what's up? Sell, uh, with sell, sell, sell. Okay, done. We bought 100 plans. of these AVGO puts. It's hitting the level of 265. The stock is going high. We're buying puts. What the hell are we doing? Why would we do that? It's going higher. We're losing $900 on this trade. Losing, man, this trade is unwinding fast. Let's go ahead and buy some more. This trade is going against us. Let's buy 50 puts right here, guys. 50 of this. Uh, let's see if we can get a good feel at 1.6 of this. 165, 35 puts. Come on. Done. We bought 90 more. Let's go. We own 150 puts AVGO. Losing 1150 bucks on this trade. This is how it looks on the chart. Okay, so SPLK, great exit right here. It hit our target level. We got out. Now it's bouncing. ADSX straight is going our direction. Apple keeps dropping. The market keeps stalling. AVGO above our target levels. Let's pull it up on a different chart. Let's put it right here. Take a close look. What's going on? Oh, my God. We're losting our mind. We're shorting the stock that's rocketing to the moon. What the? What? What were you thinking, Leonardo? What were you thinking? Seriously. Were you thinking at all? I mean, did you do any calculations on this one? Apparently you didn't. I mean, you own 150 puts and it's flying. It's flying to the moon. Seriously. Shares of RQL. You weren't thinking. 777. Okay, let's buy some more. We got 2,600. Okay, AVGO, let's buy some more puts. Uh, how many can we buy? $1.5, $2,600. 
Again, let's go, 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 buy 20, 20. We're not, not enough to buy 20. Let's buy 16, 16, 1.5, 16, 1.5. Let's go. Oh, man, now they don't want to sell it to me at 1.5. Really? Really? So now they're thinking the stock is dropping too. Oh, really? Okay, well, okay, fine. Let's buy 1.6. Let's buy 1.6. Come on. Oh, now they don't want to sell it to me at 1.6. What are you guys? What are you serious? Man. Why would you do that? 1.7, 1.65. Come on, just sell me the puts. Stock is going higher. I'm the only one buying these puts. So out of all the put action in AVGO today, guys, look at this. I actually, out of 73 puts, I bought 66 of them. And out of these 130 puts, I bought 100 of them. Apparently, I'm the only one thinking today that this thing is going to drop by the end of the day. Boy. You need some serious help, Leonardo. I mean, sometimes we really wonder about you, bro. You know? All right, let's see how it looks on the chart. Let's enjoy the show. Okay, ADSX stalling at the 160 level. Is it going to drop? Because we need it to drop to 155 to lock some profits on this one. And it does not want to cooperate. It does not want to cooperate. And we want it to cooperate. And so for the AVGO trade to produce gains, we need Apple to drop. Apple is stalling, but it's creating this move 11. Guys, if you don't know what move 11 is, click the links below. Take the 13 market moves formula course so you can become a more efficient trader. Okay, guys, it's 10.08 a.m. on uh, May 24th, 24th, 2019. Uh, the count is at 57K. We started with 4,500. So, so far, we turned 4,500 into 28K. Oh, whoa, whoa. What's going on with AVGO? AVGO, remember, it was flying to the moon at 265. We're coming in buying put. So, let's review that position real quick. Uh, AVGO, uh, 264. Oh, hold on a sec. We got 166 puts when it was flying to the moon, and now we're making uh, $4,800 on that position. Okay, uh, one thing we need to do, guys, you always want to go in and set these limit orders just in case things just get a little out of control. So what are we targeting on AVGO today? First level, we're going to target 261, 260. I think it's reasonable. It's going to reverse there. If that does take place, we want to take 50 of these contracts out right here. So we're going to set that limit order, 262 and a half. We're going to take, take them out. 50 of them, not all of them, just half of them. Um, what if something crazy happens? Oh boy. Okay, so, um, all right, so we're gonna set them, uh, if they're two skis and a half, I mean, this should be worth about three bucks, so let's go with 2.9, right? 2.9, we'll set that order in, we're buying them at about 84 cents, right? Average trade price, 84 cents, so that's about, you know, four times the money. Boom, done, handle. So that order is sitting there. Now, in case, in case, in case things get out of control, it does fall to a level of 259 where it was trading yesterday. This is what we're going to do, guys. We're going to set the other limit order right here. Take 50 of these out at... Uh, Sky News whoa, Pentagon. whoa, at... Guys, you're going to think I'm nuts. And we're going to take these out at a level of 4.75. Here we go. Okay. Uh, what about these? Leonardo, you forgot you still own these 66 contracts. Uh, okay, the trade is making 8K. Okay, things are starting to go along. Good, good. Okay, so uh, sell 66. Do we want to sell 66? No, no, we don't. We want to sell 33. We want to split it, split the order. And these are in the money. They're 265 puts, so they're in the money. We've still got the whole day left, guys. It's 10, 10 a.m. Um, on a Friday. So, and the market is making that move 11, guys. It's move 11 in the market, move 11 in AVGO. Here we go. 33. What are we going to sell them for? 265 and a half puts. We're going to start taking them out uh, when AVGO is going to hit a level of 259. They're going to be worth at 5.9. 5.9. Boom. Let's set that order in. And, 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 in case something crazy happens, what are we going to do? Uh, what are we going to do? We're going to uh, sell the other 33. Oh, you're really going to think I'm nuts. Uh, we're going to sell the other 33 at, oh boy, 7.5. Done. Handled.
Okay, uh, the orders are in. The account is at uh, 59K. We're starting with 25K. Uh, the remarkable thing is we only utilize $4,500 of the account. Now, I know, guys, sometimes you see me, you know, to show you these examples of these trades to keep things easy. I just kind of utilize whatever funds are available in there. But you really should not do that. So this is a good example of how you should really be trading. As you can see, I'm only using a portion. See, these funds right here of 21K, never touch that. Right? We started today with 25K. I only used 4,500 to double the account, actually more than double, in 42 minutes since the open, we've doubled the account. Guys, it doesn't take to be a rocket science to do this. Anybody can do this. You just got to know what to look for. You got to do your homework. You got to study the charts instead of listening to the news. Because if you're listening to the news, there's no freaking way in the world you would be shorting the market today. What you would be doing is blindly buying calls. And you possibly would be buying a VGO calls as you saw it spike and go to the moon but that's not what we're doing clearly and if you want to learn how to make money when stocks drop click the links below right now so you can become a better trader right? the trade is making 10k in the last 20 minutes whoa whoa whoa, whoa. hey lena what about the other trade man you forgot to show us that's right adsk adsk what's going on with that oh whoa it's stalling it's stalling this 160.24 so yeah you guys you really want to see this Probably taking a huge fat loss in this one here. Uh, ADSK for all the haters out there. Oh, I hope he loses money on that one. Okay, uh, yeah, we are losing money on this one. 3700 but earlier we made 4700 net. So total for the day, we're making $1,060. And as soon as we break below 160 and start heading to 159 158 157 uh, uh, this entire picture is going to change. So our average cost was 105. Yeah, I did kind of pay too much on this one, guys. But uh, it may not look that much once we start dropping. So I don't know you're thinking, what, well, dude? But it's already down nine dollars. What makes you think it's going to fall more, guys? Our target level maybe 155 on this one, possibly 150. Um, you know, just stay with the trade. Guys, it's okay to be a little bit patient. Don't expect just every trade to go your way the moment you get in it. But hold on, it's 10, 14 a.m. And what do we want to check? We want to check on a bearish reversal in market. There it is, right on time. 10, 14 a.m. If you watch the 13 Market Moves daily video, we said watch out for a 10, 15 bearish reversal in the markets. And here it comes, guys. This is a classic movie level. The market's there. Heading to the lows of the day, spike. Okay, have some patience. We're heading lower for the day. We'll fall up on these trades in just a little while. Not all shades of the green are the same. That's exactly what we've talked about in the 13 Market Moves daily analysis this morning that was released to our subscribers before we had it into what appeared to be this blooming green market pre-market. And we said, look, by 10, 10, 30 today, we got a very much bearish reversal and we got a confirmation. It's 10, 29. What a coincidence. Right on time, bearish reversal, guys. Amazon's dropping. ADSX is dropping. Whoa, AVGO, don't look that bullish anymore. Don't, don't it. Wow, oh, 262.99. Whoa, but, 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 Leonardo, how did you know this? How did you know that by 1030 we we're going to get a bearish reversal? Guys, 13 market moves formula. It's that simple. You can learn it. You can do it. I'm not saying you're going to learn it overnight. I'm not saying that you're going to get, you know, to making a million dollars overnight. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme or anything like this. I mean, it, it, anything that, that's worth doing in life, guys, it's going to take time and dedication. It's going to take some learning curve. But at least you've got the roadmap. Like, I'll show you exactly what you got to do in order to recognize these market moves and how to take advantage of them before they actually happen. And most of the time, you know, if you listen to the news, what are they talking about? They talk about stuff after it already taken place. I mean, certainly CNBC wasn't telling you this morning pre-market that, oh, the market's going to reverse by 10.30 in the morning. What they were saying is like, oh, look, we're heading higher. The bulls are back in the game and all that stuff, guys. So 
you're trying to learn how to decipher what's real and what's not real in the markets, guys, I don't know of any better roadmap than 13 markets move formula. So um, here it is. We're at 61.9 on the account. We'll do a quick follow-up shortly. Hey guys, here's what we're gonna do. The count is at 59k. Things are not working just as good as we planned. We're still making 70k on this AVGO trade. Uh, we're not uh, uh, doing as good on this ADSK. Close your eyes, damn it! Losing thirteen thousand dollars here. May have to get out of that. You know, we may just actually keep the trade through the rest of the day. I mean, these are only worth like 17 cents right now. So not exactly what we expected with the trade to go. I mean, it did drop to 159. Stall, a better trade would have been just buying in the money as the initial trade when it was buying these 160 puts. However, we still got four hours and 10 minutes to go in this session. So we may just have to adjust the limit orders and uh, just wait a bit. Hey guys, it may be time to collect gains. Uh, the market is just not getting any traction the on the downside. The Looks like it's trying to bounce from here. It's like going to move seven, which was one of our projections today. So it's important to jump out before the bounce, or uh, before, I should say, further bounce. Uh, we're gonna wait about five seconds. VIX is struggling with one of the conditions we're watching. We need the Apple to stay under 180. The other condition we're needing for VIX to actually stay above 16 and so both of these conditions they're currently broken they're broken so we don't want to really you know uh overstay our welcome on some of these trades clearly did on adsx geez what a disaster uh but you know out of two trades got one good one bad out on that one um just waiting for some critical levels the market will set a lower high right here this would actually be a good reason to stay in but we want a confirmation we want vix to jump want Apple to drop, and so far we're just not getting a really good reading on that. So that's the count is at 61 to 72. Uh, let's go ahead and start taking some gains here, guys. So uh, let's go ahead. We have a bunch of sale orders there. Uh, we're going to start actually, what are they at? 150. Let's go ahead. So we're buying these at 84 cents. We're going to sell them at 150 right now. Uh, start selling them. 1.55 let's see if we can get extra five cents in there okay done so sell sold 40 not 50 sold 40 here's the order so have to actually lower this okay looks like we sold the other one come on so 10 we sold 10 took 10 off the table let's check the market conditions again market is just stalling stalling but could get a spike. I mean, we could retest this level of 28.40. So I'd rather have the funds ready and be able to short it right here. One more time. Yeah, we definitely want to do that. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and uh, collect more profits right here. Notice I'm selling the lowest track first. Uh, okay. Where are we here? Come on. So 1.55. Okay, basically we doubled the money on that one. Let's go. Yeah, no problem selling that for that. 1.55 done. Okay, now here's the bigger one, right? Uh, they're going for 3.6. We're buying them at 1.6. 3.6. Uh, let's go ahead and sell some. Let's go ahead and sell 33 at 3.6. 3.6. No takers. Let's sell 3.5. Okay, running late here on this trade, closing it out. So I may have to sell it at 3.4. Don't want to do that, but don't want to miss out on some other trades. Okay, so sold 33. Got 33 contracts left. Overall, making 19K on this trade altogether. But Okay, so let's go ahead and get out right here at... 3.45. Let's see when we get that done. 3.4. Come on. They don't want it. 3.3. Coming up in 15 minutes at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, the Baker Hughes U.S. Rick count. Man, they're really trying to get out of the market. Must be going higher. I can't see them on the screen. So oh, I got to be able to get 3.2 in this. Damn it. They're killing me. They just keep lo Who is doing this? That is a stupid price. Okay. So sold eight. Yeah, I'm not going to change that. And the market is stalling out here. It's making a pop, like a bounce. Okay, fine. Six more. We only got a couple left. So, 
Looks like I might have gotten out prematurely. Got 19 of them left. They're worth 3.2 all day long. I don't want to sell them for less, but something's really going on here. I don't want to do it, but I'll just do it. 3.1. Okay, done. Sold 19, 3.1. Okay, fine. So this is what we've gotten accomplished so far. We have taken $4,500 into $36,964. Uh, uh, we've done it pretty much in the last uh, three, four hours here. And so we'll uh, try to place some new trades here in just a sec. Hey guys, we're going to do something absolutely stupid here. And instead of risking a ton of capital, we're going to do just take 6, 7K. We're going to buy these slightly out of the money options. I know we have in the money, but I'm noticing some things. It just really looks like it's going to finish under 260 here. So what I want to buy is, let's go ahead and buy like uh, 100 of these at uh, 0.55. See, now we I'm only utilizing like five grand instead of like 20 grand that uh, basically I was utilizing early. And so nobody wants to sell it to us. So we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, lift that order to 60 cents. And we're going to buy these at 60 cents right now at the ask. Boom, done. So how many did we buy? We bought a hundred AVGO puts. Yes, they expire in. Two hours and 52 minutes. We think there is going to be a break lower below the 260 level. We exited the position earlier, observing some signs, but we think now uh, the market is just really hesitant. We think we can get the VIX to revisit above 16. We'll get Apple to drop below 180. Um, and that is the reason why we want to stay in this trade. Now, uh, notice uh, by utilizing this strategy, we're still expecting the drop, Pentagon uh, but this would actually produce a much higher return. Additional troops and uh, additional what we're going to do is uh, going to set some deployment. limit orders here. So still targeting the same levels. Says forces include Patriot missile battery personnel mating for surveillance aircraft and engineers. Sell so 50 at $1.45. And we're going to sell 50 at a uh, 2.45. Here it is. Order's done, set. Let's go. Guys, and this is what we're actually going to do with the rest uh, of uh, the funds that we got available here that we created from 4,500 here. Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and buy some Amazon puts currently trading at uh, 1827 with uh, two hours, 49 minutes to go. We do want to buy these in the money, in the money, meaning like not deep in the money, but right here would probably be sufficient. 1830 puts about 5.9. Uh, maybe this 17 and a half. So uh, let's US go military and buy says intelligence 30 of these campaign by Iran that ties together threats 30 of these the right here. Uh, Russian lawmaker 30 says Amazon's at 9.2 troop deployment to the Middle East at the Okay, Europe. done. We US bought a security council. Oh shit, we only bought 3. We bought 27 more. Okay, we bought them. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, done. Bought Amazon puts these 1835 puts at an average price of 9.2. I want to set a sell order to close these out. Uh, basically, calculate Amazon could retreat back to a level of uh, 1815, 1810. That drop should double this position. So um, there it is. I'm going to set an order to basically exit at an area of 18.5, which is pretty much going to double this position for us right here. Okay, so far the trade making uh, 2250, not $3,000 still utilize. Um, let's see if we actually would just add some of these uh, 1820 puts. How many can we buy? We'll buy 15, 15 of those 1820s. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and buy them. Okay, done. We bought 15 of these 1820 puts. We're going to go ahead and set a sell order on those to a level of create closing order. I want to sell these at uh, about 4.5. Should be able to get that. There it is. Done. Let's go. Come on. All right. So AVGO continues to drop, but now we've got a lower strike. So we really need this to make a break lower. We'd like to see VIX spike above 16. I'd like to see Apple trade below the 180. Two hours and 
47 minutes to go till the closing session. Let's go. Okay, about time the market started playing along a little bit to help our trades here, guys. Okay, so got 45 um, Amazon puts. Some are in the money, some are out of the money. And we got AVGO slowly grinding its way lower. Okay, so what are we going to do? If we get a quick break right here on S&P to about 20, 25, 20, 20. Reasonable to assume that Amazon can fall to a level uh, below 18.20, maybe like 18.13, 18.15. So what we are going to do, we actually are going to readjust uh, Amazon. We are going to readjust. Currently, Amazon trade is making us $9,000. Uh, 15 uh, puts we're buying at uh, this 18.20 strike. Making a little bit of money. Okay, guys, hour 57 minutes to go. AVGO trying to break for that 260 level. What we're going to do, we're actually going to uh, reset some of the sale orders. Earlier we set uh, 50 at 145. We're going to just lift that slightly, right? Slightly, not crazily. Slightly to like 1.85. So it'll be a 400 percent right here. 400 percent return. Done. Set. Think we're ready now. Ready for the show. Come on. Apple is hitting lows of the day. AVGO, lows of the day. And just get the market to cooperate just a bit. Just a tiny little bit. We don't need a whole lot. Just a bit. VIX, 16. That's what we're watching. Okay, AVGO, come on. Lows of the day, 260.08. Come on, sharp move lower is what we've been waiting for. Give it to us. Money time. We're just get a sharp drop. Not like... The way the markets have been last 48 hours is just they've been dragging their feet on low volume to the downside, on low volume to the upside. Yesterday at the very end when we're setting, hitting these lows at 1805, 2805, I'm sorry, 2805.75 as described in 13 market moves daily video, it was just on such an incredibly low volume. Finally, we bounced out higher at the very end of the day. I think we're going to get exactly the opposite today. You see how the market's just been stalling and grinding. It looks like it was at... Whoa, what did we just sell? Oh, I sold some in the other account. Okay, fine. So, guys, a sharp break lower could actually come in at any moment. But target this area right here is what we're doing. It's 28.20. So, sharp move lowers come in. I'm going to be able to take some profits here. I'm going to be able to see maybe AVGO in a 258, 259 handle. Let's rock. And the account is actually at the highs of the day, 72,834. Okay, so the long awaited calculation on AVGO looks like we're going to get a test. Uh, we're at 258, borderline 259 handle. The options we were buying 260 puts at 45 cents. Actually, no, they were bidding 45. We're buying them at 60 cents. Here we're still holding 100 of them. Now they're making 82.50. Uh, they're currently worth a dollar forty-two and a half. If we were to sell them, here's a bid at one forty. Here's a sell at one forty-five. So technically, we can sell them at one forty right now if we wanted to. We're just gonna hold out just a little bit. Got hour thirty-five minutes to go in the trading session. Let's see if AVGO is gonna actually visit this uh, two fifty-eight twenty. If it does that, then we'll sell uh, some of them. We got an order sitting at one point eight five. Right? Let's just double check it. So we got. One order sitting to sell some at 1.85 and another order at 2.5, get a, a quick break lower. So we'll do a quick review shortly. A few things point to the fact that we actually could hit 256 on AVGO today. So I'm going to adjust this thing one more time, right? Uh, 185, so we've got 245s right here. And uh, just in case the sell-off accelerates, what we want to do is actually set these at like 3.2, 3.25. So 60 to get to, it would have to get to 256.70 uh, area in order for us to sell them at 325. So there it is. Let's go. Come on. So they're currently trading 150 bid 175 ask. We're buying them for uh, 60 cents right here. 100 contracts. Okay, guys, we're actually going to take some profits on Amazon. AMZN is trading at 18.21, so we're showing $11,000 profit. Yeah, Let's start uh, uh, selling some of these. Uh, got 30 of these. I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, try to sell some of them. So let's sell 15 of them at 13. Should be able to get a fill there. Come on. No? Okay, done. 
done, 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 done. Okay, so we sold some at 13. Lock some gains. All right, your crucial moment on these um, AVGO puts. Hitting the low of the day, 257.54. Can it drop another dollar so we can close out successfully? Actually, we're getting close. All right, so if we take a look at this AVGO, uh, making uh, 36 8 for the day, 18,000 this trade. 2.47. You know what? Sprint. Let's go ahead and sell some at 2.5. Okay. 2.5. Says FCC and the DOJ agree on Sprint T Mobile deal. Hey, done. Ah, Again, sold two. your post says that Come FCC on, man. and the DOJ agree on the Sprint. T-Mobile deal. Sprint T-Mobile deal. We're not interested in that, but we are interested in selling these AVGO puts. Come on, I put an order at 2.5. They're not getting executed, so, uh, I mean, we executed some, but um, not with a whole lot of uh, luck, so we're going to change it to 2.4. Let's take some gains. Man. I am just a second to, okay, okay, boom. So we're only holding 50 contracts now, okay, so uh, 2.4. We're buying them at 60 cents, so six times worse, 2.4. I mean, that's a 400% gain, guys. That's how we do it. 13 market moves, stop. Okay, and we still got an order sitting there at, um, what is that, 2.85. And we still, we can maybe get there. Um, let's try to... Maybe let's raise it up a little bit since we just took a little bit less money on these. So let's try to get to maybe 2.95. Okay, done. All right, let's see what's going on here in the market. ADSX. Hey, let's go ahead and short ADSX one more time. Has not been our best one today, but hey, this time we're going to be smarter. We're going to buy it in the money. In the money. Uh, 165 in the money. Uh, what are they doing? We're gonna buy these right here. I'm gonna buy uh, 200 of them at 53 cents. Okay, done. We own them. Do we buy enough? Do we? No. About 72 only. 72. And it's dropping, and we've got other stuff dropping, so we're good to go. Here's that move on ADSX we're trying to catch right now. We're in the money. We're 162.5 in the money. Got 31 minutes to go. Market is trying to actually pull off this comeback at the end of the day. I think we should be getting exactly the reverse of that. And Apple has dropped. So maybe this is the last move higher. And after that, we'll see a, a sharper move lower here. 31 minutes. A lot of things can happen in 31 minutes, guys, on Fridays. And we're going to set a sell order to sell these. We're making a thousand bucks on these now. Sell order and try to get like 1.71 on these. They have to drop to like 1.160.5 roughly in order for us to get that. It looks like Amazon is going to finish at the lows of the day. The market's trying to move higher. Amazon is not reacting. I've been noticing a couple of these instances where the divergence is taking place. And it's um, typically S&P moves higher, Amazon moves higher. But there's a couple of instances in the last few days where observed S&P moves higher, Amazon no reaction or moves lower. Not every day, but particularly over the course of the last few days, we've noticed uh, some action like that. So, okay. AVGO getting close. If AVGO hits 257, I'm going to sell the other 50 puts at 600% profit. It looks like it's about to take place, guys. Check it out. About to hear that ringing sound. We're 20 seconds away from it. 20 seconds. 20 cents. Come on. Let's get this AVGO trade done. All right, here's ADSX. What took you so long, buddy? I mean, ADSX, I've been waiting for you all day, man. Cost me that one bad trade. We started off good. I mean, we started off as friends, ADSX. And then why would you rally against my position? That's not cool, man. 
Come on, AVGO, 20 cent drop, execute our order. Um, so if you guys uh, want to look here, so we got ADSX. It's crazy stuff on ADSX. So the last trade, we're making 3,000. Um, it was a trade earlier that we took that we actually losing 15,000. So with this trade, we should be able to breach this gap slightly. Got the sell order sitting there. Okay, moving lower, that's good. So you can see, this is a good example of how a properly selected strike will either make you or break you money on a Friday. So on these, we're making money, and these, we're not. They're basically worthless. Now, if we get a huge drop, they will spike in value. We'll recapture some of these. Not looking very promising right now. It just looks like ADSX is stalling every time it gets to like 160. It did below, uh, did below, uh, 160 once earlier and we're making money but and got to like 159 and stole there okay amazon new lows of the day like avgo you know we may just cancel this order and still got 27 minutes i mean we may be able to get 3.5 on these so let's do this and it's just really set up nicely for a drop uh avgo 31 cents so let's see, 50 contracts. We're going at 2.7 right now, but I think the stock could hit 256 and some change in the next uh, 27 minutes uh, before the market closes. So these 260, hey, that's, uh, that's next week. Looking at the wrong stuff. What we wanna look at is these. This is our position. So bid is 250. 2.8, we're expecting to move lower. Let's go ahead and try to sell these at three. You know what, we'll wait 27 minutes. What the hell? 3.3, 3.5, that's not, 3.5, come on. That means it would have to drop to 2.56.50, and then we should be able to execute this order. So basically, a dollar drop would produce another increase in the option value of an extra buck here. All right, 27 minutes to go. ADSX, about time you did something today, buddy. Okay, Amazon, setting the lows. Apple just kind of handing out there. Uh, we can just get a move to at least uh, 2825 area, 2826. The magic, the magic number, 2826. We can just get there. Be a good uh, move for all of the positions we're currently holding. Okay, we'll review in just a few minutes here again. The count now is at 91.601. Alright guys, looks like we're going to get exactly the opposite of what we had yesterday, so we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to short some of this uh, SPLK in the money, in the money, in the money. 120 puts, 120 puts, let's go. SPLK, SPLK, they're currently worth 85 cents. Let's buy uh, 200 of these right here at 85 cents. Let's go. Okay. At 80 cents, how many do we buy? 106. 106. 106 contracts. I don't know why we couldn't buy the rest, but um, okay, the count is hitting the 100k. Okay, good. All right, we bought 200 SPLK contracts. AVGO, come on, another 40 cent drop. We'll get our order executed. 40, 50 cents drop on AZO will get us out of that trade. Amazon said new lows for the day. SPLK is moving against us unfortunately temporarily if the market drops SPLK should come to this level right here 118 we should be able to execute the orders there bouncing against us okay critical moment look AVGO the trade of the week 256.73 man it was getting close 256.45 would get this order executed at 3.5 all we need is the market to actually come down to this 28.26 in the next uh, 15 minutes in order for us to accomplish that. Here it is. So yesterday we had exactly the opposite. In the last 30 minutes, the market was rallying. We get an exact opposite reaction today in behavior. We actually looks like we're going to make a move lower here in the next uh, 14 minutes. So I think we're going to put a fight again at this 28.26, 28.25 level. We'll see. But this drop should help us, three, four point drop right here, should help us close all of these orders that we've got sitting there. 
Come on, let's rock. Let's do this. Let's not hesitate. Let's just get this done. 13 minutes till the close. We need to close all these positions out. Come on, AVGO. Not a 20 cent drop. We should be good to go. Close you out here. AVGO. Let's take a look at this. AVGO. 26.56. 13 minutes before markets close. Current bid is 3.35. So another 15, 20 cents. We should be able to get it. This is our order. Remember, we're buying these for 60 cents three hours ago. We're currently worth 320 bid, 350 ask. Actually, this is us right here. One and two cash out at 3.5. Got 13 minutes to go. Looks like uh, TD Ameritrade just canceled some of our positions. They're trying to probably monitor this position. Damn, Amazon's moving higher. Okay, time to get out. Time to get out. So we'll have to close this. Overstayed our welcome a little bit on these. Um, that sucks. So we'll just close them at market. Let's go. Just get out. Okay, 311. 311 execution on the rest of the AVGO contracts. Amazon. Damn, that's a sharp. Well, not a sharp move, but... That's TD Ameritrade selling all of my positions. Damn it. 12 minutes to go. You could have called me. That sucks. They are probably going to sell these. Well, these are out of the money, so they're not going to sell these. And they're probably watching this because this is still in the money, but that sucks. Another few dollar drop here would have gotten a really nice uh, finish. Sometimes they will sell you stuff, so you got to be careful. Not as strong as the finish as I was hoping for, but 11 minutes to go. Maybe we can get some execution right here. Hey, guys. I wasn't able to capture this, but really, really tough finish. Uh, man, TD Ameritrade, they just came in. It cost me a ton of money. They actually closed out my SBLK position of like eight minutes ago. And so now these options are worth a uh, dollar a piece, and they got rid of them at 15 cents, so... Really tough finish. There the market ends. And the result of today, guys, we took uh, $4,500 into $63,000. So the account uh, value actually jumped to $84,284. Remember, we started with $25,500 in the account. We only utilized $4,500 out of that to increase the account value to 84,284. Guys, if you'd like to learn how you can get better as a trader, how you can identify trades, if you'd like to learn how to trade options, stocks, whatever, uh, click the links below, take action, and learn more so you can get better. Guys, and now I'm going to show you exactly, as promised, specifically how we calculated the first two trades. We shared them with our 13 Market Moves daily subscribers. This is what they were able to see in order to take advantage of these trades today on May 24th before the markets open. So here it is. Check it out. Here's all the charts, calculations, so on. So if you're curious to learn more, okay, here's your opportunity to do so. And if you're wondering how to subscribe to the 13 Market Moves, just simply go to tradingoptionslive.com and get more info. Guys, good morning, May 24th, 2019. It's a Friday, my favorite day to trade. Guys, it's gonna be on today. And for those of you that were just getting a little gritty yesterday, guys, what did we say at the end of yesterday's video? We said, keep taking profits at key levels. So with that said, don't panic this morning because I've talked to a number of you and some of you have taken some nice gains to the extent of 60, 80, 100K plus yesterday. Good job. Congratulations. Now, for some of you that just persevered and stayed in some of these positions, we have every reason to do so. But again, what you want to do is we're highlighting the levels of the trading tunnel. You want to come in throughout the day. You want to collect some trades, reinvest them into some other trades to diversify and keep the profits in your account. So for those of you that um, have a ton of questions, guys, try to reach out to me. 
I've only got a couple of spots remaining in the high rollers club. So if your account qualifies, if you qualify for all the qualifications in order to enroll into the high rollers club, reach out to me because that is the ultimate holy grail on how to get to the million dollar club. Okay, with that said, remember Mondays, the market is going to be closed. And uh, just a couple of highlights here, right? When Trump tweets, what is the rule, guys? Trump tweets, we want to shirt the tweets. He tweets, we short. He tweets, we short. Use that strategy, and more often than not, you will collect some significant gains. Some key observations for May 23rd. Low trading range of the trading tunnel was tested yesterday on disgustingly low volume. And just some key observations I'm going to share on the charts. The reason why we just actually kept staying in, uh, waiting for some lower levels. Um, I'll point it out on the chart because I think it's very important to understand that. Um, now, Apple just keeps leading the way lower and nothing has actually changed. After the market, it tried to bounce above 180 pre-market. It's again under 180. So keep an eye on Apple. If you see Apple rally 182, 183, 184, get out of puts. Okay, But if Apple keeps hesitating with that 180 level, especially if Apple stays under 180, we stay with the puts, guys especially with the semiconductor stocks, like the AVGO trade and so on. By the way, for those of you that reviewed the AVGO trade, guys, remember I had the 100 contracts. I think the most important thing in that trade I illustrate is that I don't take the entire position all at once. So for those of you that trade multiple contracts, and it doesn't have to be 100, right? You could be trading with two or four. Just remember, you don't have to close all of them at once because sometimes the market will present a much greater opportunity to close them out. So when you get to the point where you're like, man, should I take profit, should I not? The rule of thumb should be, the moment you start asking yourself that question, sell some, but you don't have to sell everything. As you can see, I start selling 10, then I sell another 20. I keep watching for the levels and VIX and some of the other things that take place and I make the decision to close some of the other ones. Now, I actually was holding some other contracts in another account that were way in the money because I started shorting AVGO like when it was at 300, just slightly over uh, 310 level. So those I actually didn't sell and I still keep them. The reason I got rid of the 270 because, I mean, they were, you know, with a slight bounce in the market, okay, they could have gotten to be, you know, a bit of a risky position. Uh, you know, but if you were holding like 275s, if you were holding 280s, it made perfect sense to actually not sell them but maintain the level. I'm going to glance at the chart because that trade is still very much valid going into today. Watch out for a bearish reversal. Yes, I know you guys are looking at this green. Jesus, oh my God, it's green. Take it easy. Not all the shades of green are the same. Some are actually, should not even be green, they should be red. What I mean by that is, I know it appears like the market is moving higher so far this morning, but there's really no reason for it to be doing so. The charts point to a move lower. So what we're calculating, and a perfect entry for those of you that are starting fresh trading, for those of you that closed everything yesterday and you're ready to rock and roll this morning, guys, look out for 10, 10, 15 a.m., bearish reversal yeah it looks like the market is straight in pre-market it was testing the 2840 level on the s p futures um, it is showing some signs of weakness and it's drawing kind of like a move 11 so far so we think there is a great probability of a bearish reversal despite of how green everything looks this morning we're gonna take a quick look at splunk out of desk and intuitive earnings in just a sec and our seven day sequence there's three days remaining of a longer term drop. Now the drop could be slightly paused because of the slight bounce this morning, but nothing has changed. We're still bearish here. And again, not all shades of green are the same. So we are very much looking to short a higher, a lower high at some point today. And looks like 10, 10, 15 would be a great way to do it. So pre-market so far as I'm recording this, Look at this. This is what's developing pre-market. This is where the markets were playing with the lows yesterday. Bounce, slide bounce right here. Boom. This is what we're seeing. This is not a variation of move 11. Move 11 behavior have been predominant in the markets over the last week. And it shows the signs of a move 11 again pre-market. So puts us in a good situation 
to actually buy the puts on the bounce and profit by the end of the day. Now remember, it is a longer weekend. It is reasonable to assume that at the end of the day, we are going to have some profit taken between 2 and 4 p.m. So keep that in mind as you trade and place in your daily trades today. The longer the indexes remain on the blue line, the more dangerous and realistic the probability of a further drop. So this is the chart we glanced at S&P 500 yesterday. See, it's under the blue line. What happens yesterday? Well, it gets deeper under the blue. So look at this. Makes a huge gap low. Yes, we can argue we're getting close to a support zone here, but we actually did that. If you look on S&P, kind of the volume actually popped here. Uh, despite of how the volume was low across many of the stocks that we're watching, but the volume in S&P slightly actually went higher. So head and shoulders clearly, clearly here. Uh, there is a drop coming. The question is, um, are we going to have in this situation of a pause for a few days, just a day, or maybe just a morning? So this was the chart of NASDAQ yesterday under the blue. Remember, the longer we stay under the blue, the closer we get to the danger of a bigger drop off. Now, what do we have yesterday? Well, we do get a gap down. You guys should know by now, a series of gap downs, just remember the Tesla chart, great example, that lead to further drops. Now, it doesn't mean that they're consecutive drops. We were calculating a consecutive drop, and we still have a high probability of a consecutive drop, such as in the move two. We pop, we drop. Okay, so keep an eye on this. Remember that now we are deeper in the blue, which is more bearish. And the critical level for Amazon, remember, we're discussing this uh, before the market opened yesterday, saying, hey, Amazon is right above the blue line, showing relative strength in relation to the market overall. But what happens yesterday? Oh, boy. Now we're severely under the blue line. Definitely enough to notice it. And where could be the next level? 1756, 1776 could be reasonable. It does not mean it's going to take place today because, again, at this 1800 level in Amazon, there's quite a bit of support. You see it was a support right here. You see that's where they accumulate in the shares for quite some time. But slight spike in the volume on Amazon. However, not enough to break through this key level of 1800. But once we're under 1800, I mean, that unwind to 1756 level could come in rather quick. So what are we expecting today? Here's our trading tunnel. Retest of 28.09, 28.05 likely today. And it could be followed by a drop to 27.76 if, if, if the volume accelerates as we're getting closer to this 28.05 level. Yesterday, the volume decelerated when we got to 28.05. It really looked like we're just going to touch the 2800 and bounce there. So we didn't quite get there. I was off about five points there, guys. So, but here's the deal. Remember, uh, the market overall is drawing a series of lower highs. So as identified in some prior videos, there was 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. We drew a 0 0.4 at 2870, 0 0.5 at 2860. Now we're in a situation where we actually tested the lower range of the trading tunnel. So we were here just not so long ago, five days ago, testing the 2890 level, the high trading range of the tunnel. Now we tested the low trading range of the tunnel. So as identified in all of these videos, the last few days, you want to short the market at the higher trading range. You want to close and collect profits at the lower trading range. Now, what do we expect next? Well, I've got this orange dot sitting at the level of 2840. So we're expecting the markets to bounce here, which would create the new high. Just remember, like a couple of days, I was drawing the same dot right here before it actually happened at 2870 level. So we're expecting the same thing to happen again now at the level of 2830, 2840. So this would be an area of the next higher low where you wouldn't want to come in and short this market. Let's review some earnings. Some great ones happened last night. We're not going to be able to cover all of them, but I'm going to take a closer look at ADSX and Splunk. Uh, but oh, before we go into that, right, I had a lot of questions about AVGO trade. So this is the chart of AVGO, all the bearish stuff we've discussed. I'm not going to go into that one more time, but this is what happens next. So understanding what happens next is crucial. So in earlier charts, we've talked about this gap down, this gap down, uh, then we've talked about the bearish reversal candles. That leads to another gap. And we're getting close to this level of orange line, 20, uh, 254 bucks. So today could be the day. So far, pre-market AVG, last time I checked, it's between 261, 262. Very light volume, guys, 900 shares. So it is not popping on higher volume. It could 
because sometimes after a series of gaps lower like that, we could get actually a gap higher, but it's not happening. And they keep distributing the stock on heavy volume. So it is very reasonable to assume that we could test this level of 254, 255, 256, collect some profits if your options expired today, guys. Okay, considering Splunk 135 puts on the bounce so far, Splunk um, is uh, training. Initially, the reaction was quite positive. Actually, shot up to this level of 136 last night after uh, hours. Then it hit a low of 123.22 immediately. So far, pre-market that's trying to regain its posture at 127.2. We would like to short this thing when it gets to 132, 134 around this area. We'd like to collect the profits around 120. 123 level as was the low set right here after hours yesterday so we're going to target that level why would we want to do that there's clearly a top information in splunk which is by the way cloud related play and the blue line right here is going to be about 115 we're not expecting it to fall to 115 today but it could definitely hit a level 120 123 it's going to be very difficult for it to break above the 140 level so that's why we're considering 135 puts uh, we think if it is going to overshoot over 135, it's not going to stay there very long as presented by a series of bearish reversal candles right here. So, uh, you know, if you buy this 135 when the stock trades at 134 and, you know, for a brief moment, it shoots over to 136, 137, just tolerate the trade, stay in it, be patient because it should resolve into a move lower. MACD is quite bearish and is just about to cross as you can see right here. Now, that's the weekly chart. What do we see on the daily chart? Guys, on the daily chart, look at this beauty right here. Going into the earnings report, we got the first gap down. If you use the history of the AVGO and you review some of the videos for the last couple of months, the top in the AVGO looked very similar until we got the first gap down. Then shortly after that, we get the second gap down. And then before you know, you get the third and the fourth and so on. And that's how ultimately in the next 30 days, Splunk could fall to a level 100. But for the purpose of trading today, stay conservative. First target area is going to be 123.22. That's where you want to get out. And there is a possibility it may flop if the rest of the market is reversing, making that move to formation to 120. So target 123.22. Second target 120. Get in on the bounce. Considering out of desk puts on a bounce as well. Nice move right here. Now this one is actually hesitating to get out of this. Uh, drop so this looks like there's really no buyers on Autodesk at these levels but ideally we don't want to short it right as it opens if it opens at 156 hopefully it's gonna eventually bounce before market opens to like 160 162 and a half that would be an ideal area but if it doesn't get there hey it's okay to take a shot at this maybe 158 157 five that would be a good area to come in here's why Tons of things on this chart. Look at this accelerating sell volume going into the close. Like the volume accelerates, but what the stock still holds is levels. Till it finally flops off the earnings, but we think there's still room to go. Clear divergence on the RSI. Just a lot of top information. A lot of bearish reversal candles here. MACD has been bearish for a while. Accumulation still at the top, so a lot more sellers could come in. We'll look at the weekly chart. The top is confirmed right here. Look at the hook, though. Look at the hook. It's about to cross on the weekly. That is a great area to come in, guys. I've been reviewing some of these hooks on the charts. When you see this, get ready for a move lower. Okay, so market moves. Yesterday, yes, we did get a move three. This is how it looks on the chart. Remember, a move three, they start with a gap down. A lot of times, as described in a 13 markets move formula course, a clear characteristic of a move two after the gap down, we're actually going to have the markets try to act like they are going to try to close this gap down but most of the time they're just going to close it partially as you can see right here in the picture this was the gap it tried to come up to that area this actually creates a perfect entry time and then it just keeps training lower creating this lower highs lower highs throughout the day so the reason it was so it was just this was truly a rare day yesterday guys because a lot of times when stocks or key trading levels are getting close you'll get like a quick break lower or you know you'll get like a quick spike lower intraday but the trading was just so steady there was just no buyers look at how every time it would just pop even just a little bit like a couple of points it would drop immediately it pops it drops it pops it drops it pops it drops works its way all the way to 2805 
0.75 that's the area we're actually looking for the market to possibly revisit today at some point and, and yeah it does test this area it does pop at the end of the day but in relation to where we started right so we drop lower and we finish much lower in relation to where we opened and so that's what makes it a move three two-day sequence 11 3 this is how it looks on the chart here's your top information your pyramid I actually identified those three little pyramids inside of this bigger one uh, the day before so 11 we gap down uh, trying to close the gap and after there and then creating a series of lower highs throughout the day and a small bounce at the end this is actually a lot of move threes they do that now it doesn't mean that you will get a pop the next day like what we're having today as a matter of fact a lot of times after these move threes when they do make the pop there's a high probability of a drop further the next day with another gap lower now clearly we're not getting that today but it does not mean that that is the general rule or the higher probability uh, as a matter of fact today is kind of an oddball move and they clearly have something to do with the media coverage of what the trump said after hours now 11 11 7 11 3 is the five day sequence as you can see the bears are dominating the market right now this is how it looks on a five day sequence 11 11 7 11 3 boom and if we take a closer look what we will see this is how these lower highs throughout the day they look at the move three so every time it bounces, when i'm sending messages in chat room hey short the bounce guys this is the point of the bounce this is where you want to buy puts this is when you collect the profits buy puts collects the profits okay buy puts okay expect some turbulence but ultimately should resolve in a move lower after all said and done vix high numerically above 16 retest of 19 by 20 uh, by monday uh, this is where the vix traded yesterday 16.6 to 18.05 was the high close at about 16.92 not a very strong close by no means but uh, you know the idea is they are buying the dip on the VIX this is the behavior observed yesterday pre-market we have a clear repetition of that behavior throughout the day look at this look at how they were buying the dip so even though it looks like a possibility of variation of a move 11 so far pre-market VIX is holding at 16 level which tells us we probably are likely to see a retest of this 18, 1805 at some point. And then, of course, when we get there, guys, this could be the time to actually take some put positions off the table, lock in some gains. If the VIX shows hesitation about breaking above that level of 1805. So pay very close attention today. Today's market move that we're clearly expecting is a two. We have a higher probability assigned to a move two. But don't forget that if there's going to be more tweets, is that there's going to be more happy news out there. Uh, we could actually resolve today into a 7, so be very careful. Again, uh, the crucial level in the day is going to be between 10 and 10.30 in the morning where we can get a good read. And if the VIX is hitting 17.18 on the drop-off between 10 and 10.30, this is likely a 2. But if the VIX is not moving, it's a 7. So keep an eye on that and clearly watch out for the sell-off into the close going into a bigger week. And key takeaways for today, guys. Not all shades of green are the same, and in the market looks like it's trying to attempt to move higher. Most of the stocks are heading higher on very tiny volume, which unfortunately has been the characteristic of the market. So we don't want to just all of a sudden turn bullish, okay? Unless we get some further indications throughout the day. So overall, we're going to stick with the strategy of shorting these bounces at the lower highs that are being created throughout the day so what i do want to do is find some entries on the put side at lower highs at the level of 28 30 28 40. now huge drop slightly delayed it's not completely erased i mean the probability of a bigger drop going into the end of the trading session today is not completely out of the question but most likely we're sort of pausing a little bit and we could get still a huge drop on tuesday but likely the bigger drop is not going to happen at this point till next Friday. So keep an eye again on 10, 15 a.m. reversal. The question of the day, will the market hold 2800 level by the end of next week? Are we actually going to break down to it? So the ultimate question is, we're going to retest this 2805 level one more time. What's going to happen to the volume? Is the volume going to finally accelerate? Uh, is the VIX going to break above 18? If that's the case, we're heading for a much bigger drop off next week. If you see the VIX is just neutral, it's playing around this 15, 16 level again, 
Um, if you see as we're trying to make a move lower, they're buying the dip, then just clearly let's just wait till next week. We'll target a better situation, uh, a better sequence possibly, and we'll strike when it's going to count. Deep nose, guys. Have an awesome trading day. Let's rock today, guys. Let's collect a ton of gains, a ton of profits, and enjoy your weekend. Do a bunch of studying um, over the weekend and get ready for an awesome week next week. I'll catch you guys on the next trade.